So prediction markets on Bitcoin Cash. This is huge. Uh, I did an interview with the uh, developer, uh, Jason uh, Dreisner, uh, about six months ago. You can find it on YouTube, prediction markets on Bitcoin Cash. Very stimulating, very exciting, very bullish conversation. Definitely, uh, it's a good idea to be conversant in, in that. Uh, basically, prediction markets are um, going to permit... Um, you know, people to place bets on the future, you know, um, and especially it's going to be interesting to see uh, multivariant bets, right? Like, right, such as, you know, if this, um, you know, if this law is passed, you know, how's that going to affect unemployment? How's that going to affect, uh, you know, and if unemployment is this or that, how's that going to affect the re-election re chances of this politician? Um, you know, it's going to enable the kind of um, collection of intelligence, right? Because it's going to incentivize experts to participate in answering these questions because due to their expertise, you know, they will be able to have place bets that are going to enable them to really collect, potentially. Um, you know, so basically what this is going to become is in a sense uh a an engine for gathering detailed uh knowledge um of the future right so uh other things it's going to do it's going to um enable synthetic assets right such as a you know, like a tesla stock on the blockchain um it's going to enable uh, smart contracts at the same level, essentially, as Ethereum, potentially even more scalable, um, you know, because of uh, Bitcoin Cash's UTXO format and some of the limitations of uh, the Ethereum model. Um, you're going to be able to build a DAO on mainnet, right? That's going to be pretty interesting. Um, the the hashed witness uh, for... Um, function that Jason talks about is basically going to enable you to see in a transaction the parents, the parents information, and that's going to um, enable contract validated tokens, right? So BU, their group tokenization proposal is about minor validated tokens, but this is going to be, this is going to enable contract validated tokens, which is um, quite interesting so pmv3 needs uh native introspection it needs the better math that's coming in the may 2022 uh bitcoin cash uh network upgrade um let's see um and i think that you know one one of the, the most promising things uh, about this is the fact that it has the potential to become a great leveler um to really be a guarantee of equality of opportunity, right? Not equality of outcome, of course, but equality of opportunity because it's going to incentivize experts, uh, information that's currently only available to essentially the elite to become available to anyone with a, uh, a smartphone. Um, and so that, that's going to put, you know, some guy with his $100 in capital on the streets of, um, you know, Lagos, Nigeria on, you know, not not the same, but on a more equal or similar uh, footing as Wall Street. You know, in fact, it may even flip flip things around a little bit. Um, you know, one of the nice things is that uh, you know we've seen some additional bulk in blocks uh, due to all the op return data from like SLP and, and whatnot. And uh, PMV3 and, you know, some of the things leading up to that should enable um, the block bulk, right, um, the size of a transaction overall to decline by as much as 5%, uh, according to Jason. And, um, you know, this is so uh, powerful because this is new utility, right? This is the kind of thing Andrew Stone was also talking about, like, you know, instead of just going out and trying to turn blockchain into Wall Street 2.0, right? We need to go out there and create new utility that doesn't currently exist anywhere 
and that, that is built on the de decentralized uh, foundation uh, that is Bitcoin Cash. Um, and that's, you know, that's going to become the kind of thing that becomes a real force multiplier for Bitcoin Cash because it's going to be something that you're not going to be able to do elsewhere or just another thing that, you know, you can do much better on Bitcoin Cash. So um, I did uh, the interview with Jason uh, nearly seven months ago, uh, Prediction Markets on Bitcoin Cash. You can look it up on YouTube. And I spoke to him again recently. And um, so he had a few updates uh, he's working on a multi-node indexer, which he hopes to have out within a month or so, uh, which is important tooling for this. He's working on tooling for wallets to support PMV3. That's Prediction Markets version 3. Um, there's a lot of work to be done there. And he in particular needs a, a C++ developer uh, to write a patch uh, so that you know PMV3 can be uh, you know, submitted uh, to for incorporation into the Bitcoin Cash node node software. Um, so, and if you know, if there's somebody interested in doing that, please, please step forward. Um, you know, you can reach out to me, George at panmoney.com, P A N M O N I. Uh, you know, you can leave a comment on this video, Twitter, George Donnelly, Telegram, George Donnelly. Um, and, um, you know, we will find, you know, if you don't already have your own funding, we'll find funding, uh, you know, to, to make that happen because, um, you know, the, the, the reduction in the number of hard forks per year on Bitcoin cash has caught, has, has resulted in, there's a longer lead time now, right? So, um, what, what Jason would like to do is to have, uh, PMV3 on, uh, testnet, uh, I believe testnet four, uh, no later than May 2022, so that the, so that there can be a full year of testing and development, so that um, you know it can launch on mainnet in May 2023 and already have uh, projects to ship. Uh, most of um, uh, PMV3 is happening in user land in the wallet space. Um, you know it's so. Um, you know, he's working on the tooling for that and, um, you know, the, there's, I think his, his, his idea is wonderful. You know, we're going to have a year of it on testnet so that, uh, developers can build out, uh, the apps and whatnot, uh, to make, to realize all the possibilities of PMV3 from May, 2022 to May, 2023. Uh, and to make that happen, we need that uh, C++ developer to step up uh, basically pretty soon. So, um, you know, if you're looking to get into uh, Bitcoin Cash uh, protocol development, if, you're if you have, you're already here, but you have some uh, free capacity, uh, this is a great project. I think this would be really great to work on. Uh, I know that, um, you know, it would be very appreciated uh, by a lot of people. Uh, and I would be at your service to, you know, assist you, whatever you need. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll get the, the, if you need funding, uh, you know, we'll, I'll, I'll do, um, whatever's necessary to make that happen. So, you know, that's where prediction markets are PMV three on Bitcoin cash. I think this is going to be huge, huge, huge. I think prediction markets is going to be bigger than, uh, smart BCH much bigger. And, uh, you know, as Jason said, the fact that um, this is going to be built on Bitcoin Cash, a deflationary currency, um, the potential to have BCH as the reserve currency of this, these decentral this decentralized prediction market or these various decentralized prediction markets that can be built. Um, it's just huge. Um, you should definitely watch the video. Um, and, uh, you know, I think this, this, this is the kind of thing that, that really gives us, uh, you know, smart BCH gives us a leg up on, on Ethereum, but I think this could be a major, a major step forward, a major leveling up for Bitcoin cash. So that's where prediction markets are at. And, um, please leave your questions, please leave your ideas, um, in the comments and let's keep building Bitcoin cash.